So I have stupid babies blaming me for the reason you haven't seen Barbie. Why? Saying, why the hell don't you offer to babysit, Rick? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid race, Jim Corbin. <laughs> Nick falls on Instagram, Twitter for Jesus content. Thanks for for all the comments. Go like button. Uh, I know he didn't kill his kids, but you never know. It's true. Uh, <laughs> and look at how they re- they grew up. Uh, uh, they're they're pretty weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, a new the new trailer for Guns and Gulags. Oh, great, good. Uh, created by Rod- I figured we were going to see yeah. this. I saw there was a- it was actually v- Variety talked about this dropping. Oh, this really? morning, yes, I was. I was reading Variety, and it said this, the new trailer drop. So I assumed we'd be looking at this. I'm excited. Uh, Guns and Gulab, which is a TV series. I know this is created, but was it directed by? Um... Good question, and I do not know. My assumption is that it would be, but no way to truly, truly know. I'm guessing no. But anyways, it has um, a couple doses in it. Um, Raj Kumar Rao uh, and our. Edarsh Gaurav. Uh, who uh, both are our dosts. Yeah, <laughs> they are. But also has uh, Dulkar, Dulkar Salman, Salman, who is... Whose son, Rick? Uh, Bob Saget. Mohanlal. <laughs> One and the same. Um, so it has a bunch of really good actors. It also has... Um, say his name. Gautam Sharma. Gautam Sharma. Uh, and, oh, well, we know him, right? Golshan Devia. He looks familiar. Yeah, we do. Let me know if I'm wrong in that assumption. But anyways, obviously, uh, Raj Kumar Rao, uh, Raj DK, uh, love, fantastic. If they are the directors, they are on the heck of a street because they, they just re- they released, um what was Shades? Farsi, right? Farsi. That was earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, now they got another. Which did really well. They got another series coming out. And um, anything you get Raj Kumar in, I'm super excited Absolutely. about. Absolutely. And it's going to be a Netflix series. I actually wish they would do series weekly. Like, I think that builds hype. And I know Netflix... You mean as far as dropping the episodes? Yeah. Yeah, I much prefer, for example, the way that they dropped... Um, Hulu did does White Lotus. Yeah. And the way Succession was dropped. And The Bear has been dropped. It's just the weekly, the anticipation and the waiting. Yeah. It I just know, stretches I, it out. I know Netflix is against that. They tried something with Stranger Things the last season where they released, I think, Half five. Yeah. And then five a month later. I... <laughs> I just, I get it. The it, you don't have to do it for every so you, like new ones that are, don't have a lot of anticipation. Drop everything so people can binge it and all that kind of stuff. But ones that are like antici- highly anticipated, like it just builds. Like people yeah, keep talking about it. It not only builds it, but then you also are being more caring of of the storytelling aspect, which obviously Netflix doesn't care. Um, the because the folks that binge it the day it drops suddenly are talking about everything that happened while the other folks who are not able to watch it as quickly are potentially going to have stuff ruined for them. Works really well for HBO. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I just, I just, um, like yeah. Big stuff like that. Like when you drop Made in Heaven, when you drop, and that's Amazon, but like when you drop Mizapur, mm-hmm. if Sacred Games had another season, right? Right. Like these are things that like, that would be hype every single week for the it, new episode. Absolutely, and it's it's a wonderful. <laughs> I mean, I know, and that's Andrani and I when we have a show that we love that's dropping each week. Man, is it's it exciting. fun to, yeah, to know? Hey, it's coming up, and you you plan around it. It's yeah. an event. Anyways, here we go. Let's yep. just get into Let's see. Oh, he's gonna be good. Kana, Pani, Sapichat, Mr. Sapto, Paki, Kali Hata, I think, Kali Hati Pajana. Char cut out more. Oh. <laughs> oh! 
voice was that was that vj ross it could have been it sounded like it did him. sound like vj uh, ross wow that was uh, roger dk are, are phenomenal they're really directors are. they're like they're so innovative obviously in the ott world of india they might be the most influential uh maybe outside of anurag since sacred games is basically kind of what started all the series mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they've really kind of taken over that realm but also with the film they did with cinema bandi this has so many inspirations in it the editing in it was great. I felt like there was a lot of Cholet vibe. Very. Especially with the title. Because the yeah. title part is exactly the Cholet font. It is. Uh, but what do you think? Oh, I, I loved it. It it had it looks like it's gonna have pretty much everything. It's gonna be hysterically funny. It's gonna have incredible action. It's gonna have a, a a very interesting, complicated story. And it also looked like it's gonna have some moments that are quite emotional and profound. So I I expect this to kind of be all over the place in terms of giving you a lot of everything and doing it really, really well. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm s one, there's so many things to look forward to about it, and just on the surface of the actors involved. Yeah. Rajkumar Rao being one of the best actors in Indian cinema, mm -hmm. uh, like, n without question. Yeah. Um, he is so versatile. He can do drama as well as a nawaz and a pankaj and he can do comedy as well as a nawaz or a <laughs> like yeah. he's just he's such a versatile actor that is just so good and then you'll have our other dost as well uh adwash and then Gu I, I recognize him but i don't Gulshan, and then dulk everything anything we've seen dulk Dulker, Shalman, yeah. he's really good as well Very good. but the editing of this and the the filmmaking aspect of it looked like it had some quentin kind of inspiration with editing choices and comedy um but also with the it, it, i there's a lot of old school song vibes going on yeah like english and indian uh old school i song. loved that break <laughs> to the waiting. waiting that was funny um and then i i feel like there's it's not a coincidence that they their title cards are all the Cholet font i feel like yeah um, I agree. There has to no, be no. That's that's a, that's because that's a pretty iconic. Uh, I mean, I know they they weren't the only ones, but that's like no. When I think of Cholet, like I can vividly see the title card in my mind and the font. That as did which which was also a throwback to the the westerns of the 1950s and 60s, and mm -hmm. uh, it just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be well written. It's going to be well acted. It's going to be just. What I it's what I would expect from them, but I I didn't expect the trailer to be this. I didn't know what to expect, and I love I love what we got. I think we saw something like a announcement or something a long time ago for this. When it, when they yeah we first heard about uh, it. Been waiting a long time for uh, this. Maybe it was um, 
just the announcement of that it's coming. Uh, Guns and Gulab. How many? How many parts? Let's see. Inspired by, read this. Uh, inspired by the misfits of the world, the series mixes the nostalgic tales of romance of the '90s with crime. It's scheduled for release on August 18th. <laughs> That's yeah. great. That's I the rom rom coms of the of the '90s. Um, that's it. Looks exactly like it was what it's going to be. Yeah, it was officially announced in January of 2022. I remember. So we're looking. It's a year and a half later from the announcement. Collaboration. Okay. It doesn't say how many parts. It, and on IMDb, it also does. I'm looking on uh, Wikipedia right now, where sometimes it's a little bit better. But there's not a lot of info right now. Yeah. Um, because we just saw that if it's correct. The new season of Maiden Heavens only right. going to be seven, right? Which last time there was nine, um, and I it also on IMDb just as episode one, um, right? As far as Guns of Gulab's listing of episodes, it only shows one episode in the can, which can't be true with it coming August eighteenth. But also, does that mean <clears throat> they're only going to drop one episode at a time? Which I would love. I would love. I would actually love that. One, yep. because we could react right away <laughs> um, and be up to date as opposed yep. to watching the entire thing. But we also, this is, we'd be, because I'm definitely, we're definitely watching this. Yeah. 100%. But. Yeah. And, and some of you have asked uh, about, in fact, I've had some people here as well as Stupid Babies ask about what to do in support of the, the SAG after strike. And should you, for example, should you not support streaming services or movie theaters right mm -hmm. now? SAG has made it really clear that that no, because if, if only a handful of people do it, number one, that doesn't do anything. And number two, that would then give the studios and producers after the current quarter to say, oh, we can't pay you. Look at our earnings because of that. That is something that could happen down the road. So, for example, if we get into November, December, don't be surprised if nothing's transpired. SAG may ask everybody to at that point. Yeah. Boycott. But. There's no that that's why we're we're reacting to these things. And that's for those of you who've asked me to talk about Barbie and Oppenheimer, SAG has asked people who are influencers to not promote necessarily anything. So I've been real hesitant to do anything other than what we're doing on the channel, which is Indian content, to talk about stuff that you she guys not because because you guys are, yeah, this is not under SAG jurisdiction or under the contracts. And Barbie and Oppenheimer were released in India. So we can talk about it here. Um, I did one quick little thing that talked about how I liked Barbie more than Oppenheimer on wow, my story. Wow, scab. But it went <laughs> and down. That's that's the only reason I haven't talked about it yet. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, I'll talk about it, but I haven't seen him. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I assume in Barbie, somebody dropped some atomic bomb on Barbie. That's exactly what happens. And in Oppenheimer, there's a bunch of Kens running around. Well, in that Oppenheimer, spoiler alert, uh, he changes his name to Ken. Oh, okay. and then changes it to Barbie. I hope and it's this entire thing. They think it's about the atomic bomb, but what it's really about is his identity, and he's very, he's really trying to figure out, is he binary, is he, you know. I hope in uh, Oppenheimer there's a sex scene and they put a Barbie outfit on her for decency purposes. I agree. <laughs> Anyways, this was fantastic. I'm so looking forward. One, also, this will be four days after. After after Maiden Heaven? Oh God, how are we gonna do that? Depends on how many drop. Yeah, that's a lot of watch along. Yeah, hopefully hopefully they drop one at a time each. Um Yeah, that is interesting. Anyways, this was fantastic. Let us know what you thought about it. Are you excited for it? Down below. Just